better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we are going to talk about the newest addition to the crew of Venom 3, which we don't know the title for yet, uh, but the working title is Venom 3, also known as Orwell, uh, which it's shooting under. And uh, it will be shooting, I think, later on this month here in June, assuming that everything still goes well uh, and they're going to move forward despite the writer strike still happening. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but as of right now, it's still on track to start filming soon. And they have a new cinematographer for the movie. In the first movie, obviously, for Venom 1, we had Matty Libatique, Matthew Libatique, who was great. I thought he added a little bit of style and kind of set helped set the tone along with the director of the first movie, Ruben Fleischer, kind of setting the tone of what they wanted for Venom and the kind of the look of the film. In the second movie, though, I was kind of surprised. We had uh, Andy Serkis as the director, and we had Robert Richardson, who has done work for, um, you know, Scorsese, like all these amazing filmmakers. And I didn't feel like the look of the second one had a unique style. There was some interesting visual things they did, like when, uh, you know, Carnage was in his cell and he was like, you know, thinking about his past and they animated some things. I'm like, yeah, those were cool and they, they, they were neat, but the movie didn't feel like it had a real visual style of its own, at least in my opinion. Um, it felt like kind of safe in a way, um, kind of like, all right, let's kind of stick with what was already set up in the first film and not really add our unique styles to this and, and bring what we bring to the table. And that's kind of how I feel about Let There Be Carnage. It was one of my criticisms of it. I liked the movie overall. I thought it was fun, but I still felt like visually it, it, it didn't like add anything. And that's what I'm kind of hoping we see more of in the next one is more adding to it from a visual standpoint because we have a, a different visual voice on it. We have Kelly Marcel making her, you know, directorial debut. And I'm curious to see what she'll bring to it, you know, when she's kind of, you know, the visual um, impetus behind a lot of the stuff and uh, to, you know, go along with her style and what she's going to be developing as her style. We have Fabian Wagner, who's going to be joining as the cinematographer or director of photography for this movie. Um, so I'm excited for that because his work includes a lot of great stuff that I love. Like Overlord is a movie that I saw a couple years ago in the theaters that I loved. It's like this German Nazi monster movie, like say a period piece thing. And it's amazing. If you haven't seen Overlord and you're a fan of horror films, I highly recommend checking out. He did a lot, you know, that movie's great in general, but the style of it, the visual style was really cool. I thought they added something really unique to that movie that makes it stand out, makes it memorable, even to a guy with no visual memory. I remember that movie just looking amazing. And then when I go back and rewatch it, I'm like, yeah, okay, it still looks amazing. So I love his stuff. He's also worked on, you know, with Zack Snyder on the Justice League movie, the Snyder Cut. You know, he was the director of photography there. So that's big because that movie looked really unique and interesting. Had its, you know, Zack Snyder-ish style to it too. But it also had some Fabian in there as well where he's bringing stuff to the table, setting up shots, framing things, working with Zack and stuff. And it's a collaborative effort, you know. Not everyone just gets their way when they're the DP or cinematographer. It's not just their way all the time. They work with the director and they come up with something that works for them. But they each invent things and come up with things. And it's a collaborative effort. That's what movie making is. So Fabian, with his record being on Game of Thrones and winning, you know, Emmys and stuff and winning, work, you know, awards for his work, I think he's won like, you know, five or nine or something like that. He's won a lot of stuff, been nominated a lot of times too. So I'm excited. I, I'm hoping this does give us a unique look for the film. I want something at this point, now that we've seen the first two, and I like the first two, but I want something that really visually you know, is neat, uh, you know, on some level, like, I, yeah, sure. Some things you gotta, you gotta fit in the realm of your budget and all that stuff, of course. But I still think I I'm looking for a, a visual language style for Venom, something that really pushes it into the more memorable visual, uh, era or, or like area of like filmmaking. Whereas the first two, I felt like were okay. They're good. They, they kind of served their purpose, but I didn't think they brought a lot of style to the to the franchise and i would like to see a little bit of style at least uh, i understand you want to stay in the realm and the tone of the first two films but when you bring in new directors and new voices and stuff I, i'd like to see the addition it's like all right here's the the you know what we've been in and what we've done so far and let's build on that and, I, and that's what i want to see and i i think with kelly you know being a, a new filmmaker from a director standpoint she'll have some you know fresh ideas on stuff and i think having someone experienced like fabian working with her will be a great thing. And then obviously Tom is producing and Kelly producing and P Amy Pascal and Avi Arad, like everyone will have their say and uh, Hutch, you know, who will be there too. Like there's a lot of people that are going to be coming back and working on this. And I'm going to put a link down below to the IMDb for Venom 3 because they're already 
crewing up cat you know doing the cast and stuff they're already updating things so i'm going to put that down there again it's not 100 percent. we don't at this point it's not 100 percent of every name in here is right but typically with the crew it is because they crew people up and those people want to update their imdb immediately so they, they can get future work after this project is over so um yeah fabian wagner this is really cool i think as someone who's a fan of his work and his cinematography and you know the stuff he's done and the, and the awards he's won and, and the style he's brought to projects I'm I'm hopeful that we'll get a little bit of that uh, at least in this next movie along with uh, you know some of cuz you can't get like I said 100% of Fabian you can't get 100% of Kelly it's a collaborative effort everyone's going to put in their part but I want to see their parts I want to see that bring the Venom franchise into a slightly visually more interesting area and in, uh, you know in film um, than the first two so uh, cuz I felt like the first movie I thought had a little bit of a visual style and then the second one didn't add to it, really, I feel. Um, so I want to see this third movie add a little something to it. And what that means, you know, that's up to the filmmakers, to what they bring to the table. But I just, for, for me, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for when I say add. But I, I think when I'll, I'll know it when I see it. You know, I'll be like, oh, this is different. And I like this, you know, hopefully is the reaction. So Fabian Wagner, I'm pumped for this. This is cool. Again, a lot of great work Fabian has done. And working with Kelly and Tom and everyone, I think that will increases and we got you know uh edgy of four you know a chuito who is being uh cast in a movie in juno temple like this is shaping up to be really interesting and it's getting me really excited and i hope you guys too so obviously we'll have more venom news soon we're gonna have some venom news very very soon i'm gonna do across the spider verse is gonna be my next video and we're gonna review that movie non-spoiler but then after that i'm gonna do some spoilers of certain scenes from that movie so I'll give a couple days, you know, I'll put up the review of the, the non-spoiler review. I'll get that up there. We'll wait a couple days and we're going to talk about some details like what Earth the Venom universe is on. Now we have an Earth number thanks to, uh, you know, it, you know, other movies that, that are you know out there in the, the Spider-Verse and Venom-Verse and stuff. We're getting more information of like what Earth number that the Venom world takes place on. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about and we're going to do that. So go see Spider-Verse. I'm telling you right now, go see that movie. It's amazing. I'm going to talk more about it in my next episode. Non-spoilers, of course. And then we're going to get into spoilers and I will do a spoiler review at some point. But I want to talk about certain scenes in the movie and get those out there too. So spoilers ahead. So make sure, you know, if you want those, stay subscribed, come back, watch those, but go see the movie first and then come back and enjoy those with us and join us in the comments. And let me know down in the comments below what you think of Fabian Wagner. Are you familiar with his work? Are you excited, you know, at all if you follow cinematographers or filmmakers and stuff if not hopefully this kind of is a uh, a step in that direction for you and you can kind of see who's behind the scenes making these movies that's something we try to do here on the venom vlog is talk about the crew as well as the cast and the people that are writing the movie directing producing everything we try to get a little bit of everybody in there and we always mention the cinematographer this one's fabian wagner and i'm excited for that so let me know your thoughts down below and we'll keep talking down there thanks for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you in the future peace